Hello fellow compounders. What is the most important thing you need to know to become a great investor? What is the one thing great investors do? I'll tell you the secret in this video. What you need to do to be great has been around for a long time, in many variations, in many fields. It's been around in sports. Alabama's legendary football coach, Bear Bryant, said, offense wins games, defense wins championships. Do you remember the Dallas Cowboys of the 1990s? Those three Super Bowls were possible because they had great defense. In the NBA, the Chicago Bulls won six championships in the 90s with strong defense. And of course, Michael Jordan, who was MVP and Defensive Player of the Year many times. In karate, do you remember Karate Kid's Mr. Miyagi having Daniel wax on, wax off? Mr. Miyagi in movie Karate Kid 2 said that in karate, rule number one, karate is for defense only. And rule number two, see rule number one. And of course, legendary investor Warren Buffett said, rule number one is never lose money. And rule number two is don't forget rule number one. The first rule on investment is don't lose. And the second rule on investment is don't forget the first rule. And that's all the rules there are. I mean, that's By now, you should probably know that not losing money is super important. Here at the Always Be Compounding Club, the most important rule is don't lose real money. That's it. Implement those four words and you'll become a great investor. Now, let's ask why not losing real money is that important. There are two reasons. Reason number one, the word real in real money doesn't mean that money isn't real. Real means that we are thinking about inflation. Inflation is the erosion of your purchasing power. I mentioned before that a pound of Oreos, my favorite cookie by the way, cost 32 cents in 1922 and now in 2022, it's $4.23. That's about 13 times more than it did 100 years ago. Inflation is a headwind that every investor needs to account for. So in order to not lose money, you need to earn at least the rate of inflation. Reason number two, the words don't lose are super important because it's hard to get up if you fall. That is why in football, a football team that is down by a lot has a very hard time to win the game. They become one dimensional because they have to throw the ball more in order to catch up. And the defenders know that so they will defend heavily against the pass, making it a very difficult task to overcome. So how does this apply to our investments? Let me give you an example. If you had $100 invested and you lose 50%, what return do you think you'll need to get back to even? you'll need a 100% return. Some people think that if you lose 50% in one year and the next year or the following year you make 50%, you'll be back to even. That is not correct. A lot of people make this mistake. But as a member of our club, you know better. Let's review the numbers. If you invested $100 and lost 50%, you would have $50, right? If in the following period you made 50% on that $50, you'll make $25 which will leave you with $75 at the end of the period. You will still be $25 in the hole. In order to make that $50 loss back, you would have needed a 100% return on the $50. So you would have earned $50 plus the original 50 makes you back the $100. So it's harder to come back from a loss. So, okay, I know that it's easy to say, don't lose real money. It's like saying, buy low, sell high. But how do you do it? How do you implement this rule? The answer is always be compounding. Seriously, you can't stand still. Let's review the issues one by one. Issue number one, inflation. To not lose real money, you need to protect against inflation by earning at minimum the inflation rate. The easy way to do this is to own I bonds, US savings bonds that adjust for inflation, and TIPS, which are treasury inflation protected securities. These bonds will keep your money safe and earn at least the inflation rate. The caveat is that you won't earn much or earn much more, actually. The real rate earned in an I bond in the past decade has been less than half a percent, and at times it has been zero. In effect, you're standing still, but your purchasing power is not eroding. This is equivalent to keeping your money under the mattress in a world with no inflation. So what? We don't want to stand still, do we? As members of this club, we all want to earn a real return. That means a rate of return higher than inflation. So have you heard the saying, a good defense is a good offense? For us, this means that to not lose real money, 
we need to always be compounding. Wait a minute, isn't our motto always be compounding? Yes, yes it is. Don't lose real money and always be compounding go together. It's like yin and yang. They are two sides of the same coin. Originally our motto was don't lose real money, always be compounding. But it got shortened to always be compounding along the way. This means that in order to compound, we need to be investing and taking rational risk. It means having ownership in businesses through the equity market. Which brings us to issue number two, avoiding losses. First, let me tell you a secret. You won't be able to avoid losses in all your investments. Even the greatest investors like Warren Buffett and Charlie Munger lose money on specific investments. The key is to avoid losses of your investment portfolio on average. This means that you need to set up a framework so you don't lose all your money, meaning that your portfolio doesn't get wiped out. Some of your positions or our positions will lose money and others will win, but overall you should make sure that your portfolio doesn't get wiped out. As an active investor, to avoid getting your portfolio wiped out means that you are choosing your investments carefully. This can be done by investing in number one, businesses that you know, understand, or are capable of understanding. These are businesses where you have confidence in estimating their future earnings. Number two, businesses that have a sustainable competitive advantage. Warren Buffett calls this a moat. Number three, businesses that are managed by honest and capable people. And number four, businesses that can be bought with a margin of safety. This means buying bargains try to buy a dollar worth of value for 50 cents. That's the basic rules for avoiding losses when buying individual businesses. That covers all our active investors. What about our club members who are passive investors? If you are a passive investor and only invest in indexes, make sure that you have a long-term investment horizon. Over the long term, that is 10 years or more, indexes like the S&P 500 have average annual real returns of around 7% per year. So, if you keep your cash in inflation protected vehicles like I bonds and TIPS as core defense and buy equities for longer term positions, you will be able to compound your money and outpace inflation. Think about it. To always be compounding, you need to not lose real money. And to not lose real money, you need to always be compounding. They go hand in hand. You can't have one without the other. Don't lose real money and always be compounding. That's the secret.